Governor Kelly today vetoed several of her own plans to stop a flat income tax in Kansas. She says it doesn't help the Kansans who need it most. Cake senior political reporter Pilar Pedraza is live at the State House to explain. Pilar. Deb, this is a fight that both Republicans and Democrats would say at its root is about differing visions of the future of Kansas. But before all of that, it's also a fight over which one can provide the best benefit for your pocketbook. But any tax cut we pass needs to be sustainable, fiscally responsible, and targeted to the people who need it the most. Something Governor Laura Kelly said Monday, the 5.15% single rate flat income tax proposal doesn't do. The problem? She said it relies too much on one-time funds from the federal government, funding the state would have to come up with on its own in following years. She said keeping a flat tax would put public schools once again in the bullseye when the state started to go broke because it didn't have the money to continue providing basic services. I refuse to take us back to an era of chronically underfunded schools, four-day school weeks, crumbling roads and bridges, and crippling debt. So she's vetoing it. I think we can override it. Republicans already fighting back with words. The governor had no problem signing the bill to give herself a pay raise in uh, January of 25 by the tune of about $60,000, but immediately vetoing uh, a reduction in food sales tax, a reduction in property taxes, ending the Social Security cliff. The governor instead proposed a one-time tax rebate, $450 for individuals, $900 for couples filing jointly, at a cost of about $800 million out of the state's current nearly $2 billion surplus. She says that's a move that helps the Kansans who need immediate help the most. It was the whole idea behind the comprehensive axing your taxes plan I released at the end of next year, which covered items like groceries, diapers, feminine hygiene products, school supplies, and social security. But Republicans say one-time aid just doesn't take Kansas far enough. Reality is one-time money does nothing to increase the growth of the state, right? And that's what we're ultimately looking at. And what I want is a strategic and long-term structural tax reform. And the governor wasn't done with her veto pen after that bill this afternoon. She also vetoed what has been called the Parents' Bill of Right. It's a bill that opponents say would allow parents to pull kids out of any class, no matter the reason, and not suffer any consequences as far as grades or anything like that goes. So that leaves us with 12 and even a dozen bills Republicans are going to be looking at possibly trying to override during this veto session this week. Live from the State House, Pilar Pedraza, Cake News on your side.